We're rolling out our best of patios with this Paseo Arch District destination. This is Frida Southwest. We have a really great patio. Um, it's a large seating area, almost doubles the capacity of the restaurant, so it really increases the energy and the pace of the of service. Um, a really, really beautiful view of the Paseo. It's a great spot for people watching and kind of seeing what's going on in the Arts District. A little, little bit of a breeze, a little bit of greenery. It's really a beautiful outdoor space. And while enjoying an incredible outdoor dining experience with the perfect people watching, with the push of a button, you can stay connected to your folks inside to enjoy an overall incredible experience at Frida Southwest. We have this huge garage door that opens up the patio right to the bar area. And so it really breaks down that barrier between indoors and outdoors and kind of changes it from having dinner on the patio to a whole dining experience. And while you're there, don't forget to ask about the brunch menu that features a crab cake benedict, the Frida breakfast, shrimp and grits, Frida's chicken and waffles, and so much more. And they feature an extensive cocktail and wine menu that will take care of all of your happy hour needs. So gather up your friends and family, or you can make it a perfect date night when you pull up the Frida Southwest located in the Paseo Arts District. We're talking about the best people watching, one of the best atmospheres in all of Oklahoma City, and of course, incredible cocktails and food. And this second floor patio gives you the perfect view of downtown Oklahoma City. There's plenty of seating for all of your family and friends to celebrate any occasion. This is the Hall's Pizza Kitchen, giving you fresh wood fire pies that come out fast, so get ready to enjoy. Now, if this building looks familiar, that's because there's some history to it. So this used to be a tire shop that was now repurposed to be what it is today. Um, the rooftop was added on. We have a partially shaded rooftop, um, so if you want to stay in the shade, you can do that, but we also have some in the sun which once the sun goes down, there's not a bad spot on the roof. Not a bad spot indeed, and it's really simple. Just check in with your host and let them know you want to go straight to the top. And once you head on to the roof, you can enjoy the sun or the shade, but you want to make sure you have plenty of elbow room to enjoy the pies, including their fresh made classic. Right here we have our Saturday night, which is our classic. And then one of my favorites, the Russell the Goat. It has tomatoes and goat cheese, but they're all cooked in a wood-fired oven cut into six slices, really nice pizzas. We also have some gluten-friendly options as well as a carb-free option called the Amanda, which is our pizzas built in a skillet on top of some chicken. We also have some good options over here. Our flatbread is so good. It comes with our Quinn's burrata, which is like burrata and prosciutto, super yummy. And they got the perfect pairing to go along with your pizzas. Not only did the Hall's Pizza Kitchen have the best cocktails, but you can also order desserts and just get ready to cheers to an amazing experience at the Hall's Pizza Kitchen. Up next, this patio is straight up giving off Gilmore Girl vibes. Located on 9th Street, this is Katie Bugs Sips and Sweets. And not only do they have all of your cake cravings covered, but they are listed as one of the top 10 best cookie shops in all of America. So we're a walk up and a drive through only. We love this location because of all the shade. It's fabulous during the summer. It's a good 10, 20 degrees cooler right here. And speaking of shade, you're going to need it to look through the menu, but if there's a perfect place to start, you can just ask about the cookies. Cookies, cake, bars, brownies. We have a cake, cake slices. Katie's chocolate cake is probably our best selling item. We're, we've gotten a lot of awards recently for our cookies. We have our um, organic shaved ice, so it's all natural. It's made with organic sugar and fresh fruit, so there's no chemicals, no dyes, no preservatives. It's really fresh and light, so that's a great summer option. And there is never a shortage of summer options at Katie Bug Sips and Sweets, so make sure to grab up your family, your friends, or make it a perfect date night, or you can even stay in the car and pull up on the side and even pick up your order. So whether it's cookies, it's frozen ice, it's their cake that everybody's talking about, your options are never limited when it comes to Katie Bug's Sips and Sweets. So meet us on over here every single Wednesday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. And up next, if you're looking for a bite to eat, they've got it. If you want the perfect cocktails, they've got that as well. And if you also want a concert with over a thousand people in attendance, they have that as well. Join us right outside of downtown as we check out the Jones Assembly, where on Thursday nights, you can even win $1,000 with playing bingo. This is the Jones Assembly. This is what we do. This is Thursday night, bingo night. Our kind of uh, rallying cry tagline is food, spirits, music, and we like to do that all at the same time at the highest level. So believe it or not, we're a full service restaurant uh, about 28 days out of the month, 28 nights out of the month, but two to three nights a month, we completely transform our space to be a 1700 capacity concert venue. And their food and drink menu was made to satisfy any palate. 
We have our standard menu, which kind of brings, we normally have 12 of our kind of created drinks that we do. And then of course, we love all of our classics and do a great job with those. Uh, we also have an extensive beer menu featuring mostly local breweries. We got 34 beers on tap, uh, plus a cocktail on tap, and then also an incredible nitro cold brew that we make in house. You know, I think what sets our menu apart is we really embrace Oklahoma cuisine. I love to say that it's Oklahoma favorites just done in an elevated way. The last game at 11 p.m. is always the blackout bingo, and if you win, you get a thousand bucks. 